Although water is everywhere, less than 3% of it is healthy and drinkable. In fact, one third of our planet currently does not have access to healthy drinking water. By 2050, this is estimated to go up to 50%, half the world. So I thought in this video, we could cover the eight technologies which are saving our water in 2021. Here we go. Coming in number eight is source. Not having access to healthy drinking water causes more deaths than HIV, AIDS, and malaria combined. Source helps solve this global issue by creating pure drinking water out of thin air. This device is like a dehumidifier, sucking in water from the surrounding atmosphere and creating perfect drinking water. It's powered by a solar panel, which means there is no connecting to any power outlets, just a pipe straight to your drinking water system. Number seven is EcoBlue. EcoBlue is like Source, however it's an indoor unit, using the same dehumidifying technology to create pure water. With the big difference being that you can simply power it in. The average home has enough humidity in it to create up to 20 litres of water a day. That is enough water to feed an entire large family. The only downside to this technology is it still uses electricity, which isn't as sustainable as some of the other ones we'll be covering in this video. Number six is fog capture. In Peru, people have been using fog capture to create large amounts of water. The area gets up to 150 days a year of fog, and by capturing the fog, many villages now have access to healthy, clean, drinkable water. It's also now being used for the agriculture, which creates food. Each fog capture can produce up to 6,300 litres per day, allowing it to feed over 400 people across five local villages, and completely changing their quality of life. Number five is seawater desalination. Desalination of seawater is when we put seawater through a series of pumps and filters to create fresh water. Though its technology is amazing and effective, it's still very intensive and a costly process. For instance, the process takes 25 times more energy to purify ocean water than it does basic river water. San Diego's desalination plant is the largest in America and yet still costs twice as much to make their own water as it does to simply buy and import it from other countries. Seawater desalination is amazing and in the future it could be a huge lifesaver. However, at the moment, the power does not get measured up according to the other technology we'll be talking about today. Number four is Mitter. Mitter is the first pure water home system in the world. It creates water through evaporation, condensation, and mineralization. It's 60 times cleaner than pitcher filter, boasting the healthiest water in the world. You can even track the water quality via an app straight from your phone. For more on this one here, I'll link to the Kickstarter link as they're raising funds at the moment, and it is relatively new technology. Number three is turning human waste into drinking water. Yes, turning human waste and sewer sludge into ash, power, and drinkable water. To explain more, here's the CEO of the company right now. This is where the sludge enters the machine. It goes up this conveyor belt, is fed into these large tubes we call the dryer. That's where we boil the sludge. And in the boiling process, we separate the water vapor from the solids. The solids are now dry and we can feed them into the fire. Once we have this very hot fire, we can make high pressure, high temperature steam. And we take that steam and we send it to a steam engine. And the steam engine drives a generator that makes electricity that we use for the processor and also excess electricity that can be delivered back to the community. The water vapor that's created in the boiling process is run through a cleaning system until we have the cleanest, purest water you can possibly imagine. The true genius inside this technology is in its ability to separate elements from one another. By separating water from waste, power and ash, all these elements individually can be sold, meaning this unit not only powers itself and is 100% sustainable, but also becomes an income generator for third world nations. For more on this one here, I'll link below. Number two is post harvest. The largest use of water in the world is the agriculture sector, using a whopping 33% of the world's usable water which is especially depressing when you think that nearly half of all produce never reaches its destination because of overripening and rot. Post Harvest believes the way to reduce global water is not by creating more water, but by wasting less water from the very beginning. They've created a sensor which measures health and ripeness in storage and transport. Combined with weighing up ethylene and CO2 and many other factors, they can predict the perfect fruit and storage conditions. They believe with this technology, they can reduce waste from 40% right down to 5%. 
If 40% of the produce reached this destination, we could technically produce 40% less, saving our planet 14% of the global water supply. For more information, we actually did a video with Lawrence Fishburne right here. Number one is powder which separates dirt from water. PNG created a powder which actually separates dirt, bacteria, and germs from water, allowing nearly any water in the world to be drinkable in around 15 minutes. To explain on this process, here's YouTuber Mark Robber. You start with clean water like this, but now it's all brown because it's filled with lots of dirt particles, parasites, and bacteria. So you dump the powder in the water, and as Phil explained, the coagulant part of the powder goes to work first. It's basically seed crystals that are positively charged, and because the dirt in the water is negatively charged, these seed crystals act like dirt magnets. And these dirt magnets grow until they're each about a millimeter in size. The next part of the powder to activate is the flocculant, which is a polymer which you can think about as having huge long arms that wrap up all the little dirt magnet clumps and now they form bigger chunks as large as a centimeter. And these chunks now are so big they're just slightly more dense than the water which means they sink to the bottom. And finally the chlorine is released and it goes to work on killing the 99.9999% of all the really tiny viruses and bacteria that are left in the water that didn't get wrapped up and sink to the bottom. So now you're just left with safe drinking water at the top. Since 2014, PNG have supplied billions upon billions of litres of water, saving countless lives. PNG actually sells them at a major loss, showing us that their company is not all just about profits. Water is essential to life, and these technologies are going to help us make and save more of it. So if you like this video, please turn that little thumb blue. By making it go blue, you help us and others go that much greener. For more information on technologies mentioned, I'll link them all below. For more videos about sustainable tech, ag tech, and other ones like the ones you just saw, click subscribe. And again, let me know which of the technologies was your favorite. Thanks so much and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.